Because once if something goes wrong and like your closet locks and like you're trapped inside, this is just sounds like a bad time. What's up, Rat Fam? We are back again with another paranormal ritual game, and today I want to deep dive into one called The Closet Game. Now, this one is obviously by the title about a closet, and it kind of preys upon that childhood fear and you know, maybe even adulthood fear of dark closets. Just the idea of like the boogeyman or a monster hiding your shadows is very unsettling, and this paranormal game really, um, attaches to that. So let's get to it. So like my other paranormal ritual videos where I cover these games, I have to make a huge disclaimer right off the bat. Whether you believe in the paranormal or not, I like to firmly say, do not play these games. Whatever we talk about on this channel, specifically when we're talking about games, just don't play them for your safety and for my peace of mind. It's just best to err on the side of caution, not just from like a paranormal aspect, you know, demons and ghosts, that's scary, but more like you could get hurt playing one of these. And, um, you know, I'd rather that just not happen. So do not play these games. Leave these as scary stories and just a spooky fun time. <laughs> now, with that being said, in this video, I want to go over like what this paranormal game is and though you're not going to play it, what are the steps of the game and what could possibly go wrong and why you should definitely not play it. Now, as always, whenever I use a website to base a video on, I'm going to leave the website link in the video description. So if you want to check it out for yourself, feel free to do that. But today I'm going to be using um, this website to tell you the steps of this creepy game. But first, I think we need to go over what this game even is and what's so darn creepy about it. You know, on this channel, we have a running thing about closets. Yeah, especially this one. I always think my viewfinder, something's moving back there and it's very unsettling. So I'm sure reading about a creepy closet game is going to make me feel very comfortable. <laughs> with my back exposed to that thing. Great. A quick summary about this urban legend game. It appears like it started as a creepypasta many years ago and it then kind of spiraled into an internet urban legend and then from there actually became like a challenge game that you will see a lot of YouTubers over the years have played this. And it really is just based on the common fear of something lurking in your closet, in the shadows, at night. You know, you hear a little rustling of your hangers or a thump in the dark. And then, you know, your imagination starts to wander and you think, oh, there's probably something hiding in there, huh? But just something that shouldn't be there is there and it's probably going to eat you as soon as you fall asleep. <laughs> or maybe suck you into a dark world through the portal in your closet. Very unsettling stuff. As for why anyone in their right mind would ever want to play this paranormal ritual game, um, it seems pretty unfounded. <laughs> now some of the paranormal games that we've covered so far on this channel seems like their goal is that if you complete it successfully, you'll get something out of it, like a wish will come true or uh, you'll have good luck. And then reversely, if something goes wrong, you'll have horrible luck. You might meet a horrible fate. You'll be cursed, that type of deal. And then other ones, it's simply because you want to play it and I guess to see if the paranormal actually exists. And these are the ones I have the hardest time understanding because, you know, while you should never play any of these, you know, at least when like you're getting something out of it, I see where people's motives lie. But when it's just because, where's the fun in playing something scary by yourself? I don't get it. Play a scary video game instead. <laughs> but the classic game falls under that type of paranormal game where there really is no reason to play it. It's simply because the person's curious. And that seems to be the gist of this paranormal game. Now, in this video, we're not diving into like the OG creepypasta or subsequent creepypastas I'm sure that have been written involving this game. But now I think it's time to move on to the actual ritual itself. So like I just said, this is a game that can only be played by one person. And if more people try to play along, it's just not going to work, supposedly, according to this website. Now, a lot of the Urban Legend games we covered so far have a long list of things required to actually perform the ritual, like so many steps that could possibly go wrong. So it gets quite confusing and complex during the middle of it um, that you're pretty much bound to fail at some point. This one, however, is very simple. All the player needs is a closet and a match. And again, that's, this is where my warning comes in. I cannot stress this enough. Do not play this because it involves a match. So regardless of the paranormal activity that could or could not possibly happen, the match in a closet, very dangerous. 
don't do it. You're going to catch something on fire and that's just going to be a bad time. And like the requirements, it's actually pretty simple in comparison to the other ones we've covered so far. And you have no idea what I'm talking about and this is your first video here. Hi, hello, my name is Kaylina. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you hit subscribe and join the rap fam today. Of course, I will leave links to the other paranormal games we've covered if you want to have a spooky binge session and catch up on what the heck I'm talking about. So this seems to have just shy of 10 steps. It looks like nine steps according to this website. This site simply says that the ritual has to be completed at night and it doesn't list a time, but typically these rituals are between like 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. So like the witching hour time block that's very popular with paranormal games because more spooky things are said to happen in the middle of the night during like the witching hour. And then as if it's not dark enough already in the middle of the night, the player is going to want to darken the room even further by closing any curtains. So any outside light will be blocked. Any electronics that are on, turn them off. Any lights, blow out any candles. The room has to be pitch black, which right off the bat is pretty darn spooky to sit in a room that's pitch black all by yourself in the middle of the night while wanting to play a paranormal game, like you're always, you're already gonna get on edge. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm already getting goosebumps just talking about it. We haven't even got to the scary part yet. The player's going to wanna make sure they have the match available on them. So if they forgot the match, then this ritual cannot progress. And at this point, once all the lights are out, they're going to actually get into the closet and shut the door. And then they're going to have to really verify that the closet is pitch black. Yeah, no, being inside a lock, because once something goes wrong and like your closet locks and like you're trapped inside. So this is just sounds like a bad time. The player is said to have to stand in the darkness for at least two minutes. And that's a long time to have to stand there in complete and utter darkness with no like stimulation. They are said to not move and to not speak. So to stay as silently and as still as humanly possible. At this point, the player is then to hold the match out in front of the, their face, preferably not too close or else they're going to burn themselves. But you know, out further enough to where it's like in their view frame, but also again, make sure it's not near like anything that can catch on fire. And then the player is going to speak aloud, show me the light or lead me in darkness. So very much like a ritualistic chant. Oh, I don't like that. That sounds like a bad time. Mm -mm, this sounds too spooky. I don't, mm -mm. Then the player said to have to listen carefully. If the player hears a whisper in the darkness, and this is an all bold and that is very scary, and I have chills going down my spine, light the match immediately and watch. If the player hears nothing, do not turn around and wait. Okay, that was the most awful timing possible. Did you guys hear that? It is midnight. Who the heck would be outside my house honking right now? All right, well, I'm not getting up and check because mm -mm, no, thank you. There, that's not, that's nothing that needs me. Oh my gosh, my heart like skipped a beat when that just happened. <sighs> the next step says, if the player manages to make it at this point where nothing has happened, which I guess is a good thing. That means like, hey, you know, good for you. The player is said to have to leave the closet immediately and shut the door and not to look inside the closet. And they make that seem very important. I'm assuming because if you look inside the closet, there might be something that was behind you that you didn't know about. Okay, and then the last um, little message here on this website says to actually never, ever, ever look in that closet again, um, especially not that night, but preferably never again, and really especially not at night. So I guess keep that bulb lit and maybe your window's open and the, you know, just basically they're saying that has possibly become a portal to another dimension, another scary place where some creepy things can, can use it to enter our world and you open that. So that's on you that next time, you know, you have your closet door open and it's at night, you know, you're snuggling in bed on your phone, maybe on Reddit, you know, and then you hear a noise and you look up and then in the shadows, there's some glowing eyes looking at you, maybe a long fingers coming out of the shadows with long nails and they're going to grab into your door frame. And then slowly a creepy face is going to appear in the middle of the night. Okay, yeah, mm -mm, too, too real, too scary. Don't like that one bit. You probably now want to know what the heck could go wrong or what could really ever go right, you know, when you're playing one of these. <laughs> Let me tell you. They have said that since playing this ritual and, you know, not listening to that last part, whenever they catch glimpses of their closet and it's like darkness, specifically at night, they have reported seeing what looks like two lit matches coming from their closet. Oh, wow. That just gives me goosebumps. And uh, they might be eyes of a monster. Yeah. So two 
red dots glowing in your closet. Ugh. How would you ever sleep in that room ever again after playing this? I don't get it. Now that's if things go right. You know, you don't get harmed while playing it. You don't meet a scary monster. That's what the player would be met with if they did everything correctly. Now, this website simply says that if the person fails to light the match in time when they hear whispering, or like their match goes out, or they drop their match, or just something goes wrong in those very simple steps, that you don't want to know what fate they would meet. They're, they're pretty coy about it. They don't want to answer. They just say, don't let it happen because you're not going to want to, you're not going to like the fate that awaits you. So basically, you're going to see very scary things. Those voices are going to appear as beings and, you know, they might snatch you away to a, a dark realm filled with monsters and boogeymen and forever darkness and probably met with other people that who have, you know, gone into dark closets and gotten eaten by the boogeyman. So it's just like not a good time. <laughs> so really just playing into that fear of the unknown of what could be. And that's what this game's all about, which a lot of these paranormal games tend to be about that. But this one specifically just says, you know, the boogeyman's waiting for you and it wants any chance it can get to uh, latch on to you. Okay then, but thank you guys so much for watching today's deep dive into the closet game. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did and want to see more coverage of paranormal ritual games that you should totally never ever play, uh, give this video a big thumbs up. So I know that you want to see more and definitely down in the comments leave suggestions for future urban legend games you want us to cover. And until next time, keep with the redness and I'll see you real soon. Bye. And if I see one comment where one of y'all say that you saw something in that closet, I'm gonna be real mad at you, okay? Don't, don't play me dirty like that.